Hello all and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to make a mini folding knife. I started by designing folding knife in Fusion 360. Folding knives needs a way to keep the blade locked in place. Here I am going to use triad lock. To fold the knife, the spring loader lock has to be pushed down and this flat area will help to keep the knife closed in position. The spring is supposed to move along with the lock, but I was not able to animate it. Normally I use paper templates while making knife. Here I will be using a mini CNC to drill holes for the knife since accuracy is really important. A piece of high carbon steel is cut and fixed on the mini CNC to drill holes for the blade. After drilling the holes, outline to cut the blade is engraved using an engraving tip. So this is my new CNC machine. Manufacturer recommendation is for engraving wood. But I thought of trying it out for metal in this project and it seems to work. I am using a jeweler saw to cut the blade out. Profile is refined using a file. I am not filing the lock face at this point because I have to check whether everything will fit perfectly. Before beveling the blade I have to make all the other parts to make sure that everything will work properly. The next part I am going to make is the small lock inside the blade which is also made out of high carbon steel. Machining coordinates for the holes are manually entered and G code for engraving is made using Fusion 360. After engraving the lock is cut and filed in similar way to blade. Also the contact faces to the blade are sanded later while fitting. I am using a jeweler's ring clamp to hold the small parts. Now I am making the spring holder which is also made in similar way. Initially I thought of making it out of brass. But we need all the internal parts to be same width. So I am using the same material as blade and lock. A slot is cut in the middle of the spring holder to hold the spring. Next I am going to make the handle which is made from 1mm thick brass sheet. Brass is used here because it has low coefficient of friction and for aesthetics. To make the both handle scales similar they are made simultaneously by sticking two brass pieces together using CA glue. Handle is also engraved and before cutting the handle out I am going to do a fitting test. Spring for the locking mechanism is cut from an old spring and has a diameter of 0.6 mm. Blade and lock are sanded such that there is no slop in the blade. As usual I messed it up and changed this pin to a larger diameter and solved the problem. Now the fitting is complete, I can sand all the internal part to same thickness. Blade has a thickness of 0.9 mm. Now we can start beveling the blade. First a permanent marker is used to mark the area to be beveled. I will be using this as a guide while beveling. Here I will be using my homemade beveling jig. The angle of the bevel is set on the jig and the blade is beveled using a flat file attached to the end of the rod. Both sides are beveled and sanded to 150 grit for heat treatment. Now that the blade and lock are ready for heat treatment, a bent paper clip is used to hold them. First for hardening, the part is heated above 750 degrees Celsius and quenched in water. Since iron won't stick to the magnet at 750 degrees Celsius, it can be used to test whether the blade has reached the desired temperature. Black flakes coming while quenching the blade is ferric oxide developed during heating. Since the part is too brittle after quenching, they has to be tempered. They are kept in an oven for 200 degrees Celsius. After 2 hours, the parts are taken from the oven and sanded progressively through different grits, starting from 220 to 2000 grit and polished using a 5000 grit sandpaper. Now we can cut the handle out. I try to mill out brass parts in mini CNC using a homemade end mill and it almost worked. In later videos, I will be using CNC cut brass part. For this video, I will be just using my saw. After filing, the handle scales are separated by applying heat. Now the only thing left is to make the pins to hold everything together. Pins are made from different diameter drill bits. We have all the parts ready and it's time to assemble the knife. I am excited that now I can make very precise small parts with ease which will help me to achieve many of my dream projects. For now the handle is press fitted since we have more sanding to do. Later I will be fixing them using a small amount of CA glue. This hole is left as lanyard hole. After cleaning the folding mechanism, the handle scales are sanded and leveled to the internal parts. Also, the protruding pins are leveled with the handle scales. I thought of stopping at this point, but I wanted some wooden handle scales and I will be using rosewood for this. For that, a thin sheet of rosewood is cut and stuck to a flat surface and filed down to 1mm thickness. Initially, I glued it to an aluminium tube and changed it to wood piece because aluminium was bending. A flat file is used to reduce the thickness. After adding the wood, the total width of the handle will be 4.2mm. Now the wooden scales are glued to the brass handle using CA glue. After that I have rounded off all the corners and sanded some profile into the wood. It turned out beautiful, it's always worth spending that extra time. 
Finally, a small brass tube is added in lanyard hole for aesthetics. Brass tube is cut, glued and sanded down to the handle. This hole can be used to attach the knife to other things like a locket. Since I don't have long nails, it's difficult to push down the lock. While closing at the end of the travel, the knife closes automatically due to spring action and the spring tension will avoid the accidental opening. After applying a smidge of oil, I can sharpen the knife using the jig. The best way to visually convey the sharpness would be by cutting the magazine paper. Thanks for watching the video. Please put your valuable thoughts and video suggestions in the comment section. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.